just got done at False Idol slash Craft and Commerce Tiki Brunch. Uh, Tash, thoughts? It's 5,000% better than the grass skirt one of the yesterday. Yeah. The food was so much better. This is the second time we've gone to this one. The food is on point. It's exactly what you would expect from a Tiki Brunch. Lots of different Hawaiian... <coughs> <laughs> Lots of different Hawaiian style dishes. The drinks are good. Um, except for that one Christian order that he said he liked me and really liked. So this is the second drink. This is the Gari Birdie. It's basically a combination of a jungle bird and Campari. Very light, very fluffy. A lot of bitterness in the back with grapefruit. Well, I never said I liked liked it. I just said what it tasted like. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's pretty bitter. <laughs> and then immediately sent it back. I was like, can I get a Mai Tai instead? <laughs> Lamar, our waiter, was kind enough to replace the uh, curry birdie with just a Mai Tai, which you can never go wrong with. And theirs at Paul side was perfect. So you can always judge how good a tiki bar or restaurant is by their Mai Tai. This is perfect. The theming is a thousand percent better. The music. The music. Yeah, that's something we talked about yesterday at the grass skirt one. They were playing like rockabilly music, which is not tiki. That's a different, different culture. It's a different genre, yeah. if you will. Um, so I will, would 100% go back to false title slash craft and commerce tiki yeah. brunch, but not grass skirts. Yeah, and that's something. Better. That's something that we talked about. This was actually our second time at the False Idol Tiki Brunch. You know, during this pandemic, we're obviously not going out to eat that much, but we were saying, like, if we were to go out to eat once a week, if we could, this might be it, False Idol Tiki Brunch. And unfortunately, the grass skirt Kettner Exchange one was just not uh, what it could have or should have been. They need to send someone over to uh, False Idol Craft and Commerce to... Uh, to figure that one out, so. And it's so difficult for me to understand why that's the problem, because the actual grass skirt restaurant is amazing. Like, it's secret, like, entry into it, and like, they have good drinks, they have good food, so I don't understand why it didn't translate into this brunch that they're doing. I just don't think that they used, you know, I think they just had the idea, and instead of like, transporting the things from grass skirt or like using the servers and the bartenders from the grass skirt they just used the servers and the bartenders from Kettner Exchange who didn't care at all about they, having yeah. tiki anything they don't know what's up um you know so I don't know I don't understand it yeah and that's another thing that we talked about was like the food at grass skirt and Kettner Exchange was just like it was either like Thai food or normal brunch food whereas as you saw here at the False Idol one, it was Hawaiian slash Polynesian, right? And that's brunch food. brunch food. It's stuff that you can yeah. get in Hawaii when we go. Similar type dishes is what you would expect from a tiki situation. Yeah. So, recommended? Yes. Recommended. Two go, thumbs up. Going back? Yeah. Going back. For sure. I ate so much yeah. that my stomach was Yeah. Tash is not in a good spot right now. <laughs> and I don't know why we always do that. I always order way too much food because I want to try everything and then I don't know when to stop. <laughs> it's a problem. Yeah. So, is that the way the dole whips? That's the way the dole 